Casey Gray here from The Conscious Builder. And before I get into today's video, I wanna let you know that we are hiring. We are looking for team players to be out on the site with us. Uh, if you head to theconsciousbuilder.com and go to the Contact Us tab and Career Inquiries, you'll see exactly what we're looking for. So if you are a team player and you're in Ottawa and you're motivated and you're looking to have fun and you're looking to make a difference in the industry, we may be the team for you. All right, on today's question, we have uh, Stephen B asking about framing with LVL or LSL studs instead of typical SPF studs. So instead of framing with your typical uh, two by six studs, he's wondering if we can use engineered wood. And the answer is yes, obviously we can do that. I think it's a great idea, but where there's always pushback is when you're hiring a subcontractor to do something different. We're dealing with this on another project right now where we're doing some different framing details, not your typical framing details. And different means more money for projects. And more money is not necessarily good for the client, especially with the way the industry is going. So I think it's a great idea, but you really have to create a case for it and be able to present it to the people who are ultimately going to be doing the work. And if we can present it in a way that it's not going to increase their costs and actually save costs in the long run, or maybe it'll reduce somebody else's costs, then it could work out. I don't see this necessarily saving costs on like drywall work or, or cabinetry install, for example. It will make it a little bit easier because everything will be nice and plumb and, and level because you're not gonna deal with warped wood. Uh, but I don't know if they're gonna reduce, those subs are gonna reduce their costs. So that, that's also, the area that you have to think about is if you're spending more in one area, will it reduce costs in other areas? Usually it's no, right? Until you've done it a couple times or until you have a trade that's done it and they realize that it does save them time or uh, it does save them materials, whatever it may be, that's the only time you're gonna end up saving some costs. Uh, so usually not on the first project, which is always tricky because we have to make decisions as contractors to for the best product, but also keep everything in mind with regards to budget and overall big picture, right? There's a lot of things at play, but what we're always aiming for here at The Conscious Builder is the best value, right? So we want something that's gonna give us a good product, but also give us a good bang for our buck. We don't want the, we don't want it to be cheaper, for example. I don't like using that word. We want it to be maybe less expensive or, or more inexpensive, uh, but we don't want to necessarily cut corners in any way. So if there is a way to improve a building and it makes sense and we can make a financial case for it, then those are usually the conversations that we have with our customers. But also before that, we're working through it with our engineers uh, and with any of the sub trades that would be involved with the work. Thanks for the question, Stephen B. Uh, sounds like you're doing some really cool work, so keep it up. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. We'll be sure to answer them in a video format like this. Uh, a reminder that we're also hiring too. Uh, go ahead to theconsciousbuilder.com and go to the Contact Us and Career Inquiries. You'll see exactly who we're looking for. And lastly, where I'm sitting right now is actually a really cool project. It's a house that was built in 1860, so uh, 161 years ago at this point. Uh, so be sure to subscribe hit the notification button, the, uh, the little bell icon to make sure that you get notifications when we post more videos like this and with our exciting projects.